Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Were you expecting Air Force none? <laughs> and Peter, good morning. It is Monday. Ah, oh, Monday. August 8th, 2022. Right now we're heading to our first service call of the day. No air conditioning for a client, an existing client in Garden City. We're taking the scenic route this morning. We'll see what's going on over there. I'm a little tired. Didn't work all weekend, but we did one job yesterday. I posted that video. That was uh, the one right up here. Pretty funky system, an old R22 carrier, outdoor condenser, and it was piped in with two air handlers. Two air handlers. I've never seen that before. In the comments of that video, a lot of you guys, a lot of you commercial HVAC guys said, yeah, you've seen that before. You know, you have one outdoor unit, multiple indoor blowers, evaporators. But uh, without having solenoids and valves and things of that nature, I really don't know how it works. I don't see how it could logically work, but it's been working for 30 plus years. <laughs> but I appreciate the comments from the community. Thank you. As I say, we like to learn something new every day. And if we can learn from one another, that just makes the community that much stronger and better. All right, guys, I'm just around the corner from the job. So to protect their privacy and their exact location, we're going to stop filming here and hopefully I'll get some film and record the service call, the diagnosis and the solution. Let's get going. All right, Peter, we arrived a little bit early. It's like 740. Here's the outdoor unit. Yes, it shouldn't be smack up against the house like that, but it is what it is. They have a pressure switch here? Yes, they do. Let's see. It does no, no they don't. They don't have a pressure switch anymore. Um Damn, it's like smack up against that. <laughs> One bush. What do you want to bet she's got a fur coat? <laughs> Oh, it actually looks pretty clean. I bet you which side is not clean. It's going to be that side. Guaranteed. Let's see this side. Oh, it's clean too. All right. How about we just start with the tool bag? All right, Peter. Homeowner just got home. Let's get a quarter inch. Take that screw out right there. Peter's getting more hands on. So I just heard a click. Yep. yep, I heard that click too. All right, let's pop this cover off. <laughs> He's learning. He's learning. Grab yourself a flat screwdriver. <laughs> the good old reams. And just pry that out a little bit. There you go. Fight the branch. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in here. Wow, well, if that wasn't, uh, if that was clean, this sure wasn't. All right, so our contactor is now pulled in. She looks pretty charred right there. All right, let's get the non-contact. Actually, let's get the, uh, the voltmeter. And let's check for voltage. So right now the contact is pulled in. So one thing I'm I'm fear fearing is a trip breaker. So I'll set that thing to read AC volts. Okay, perfect. Now grab your two leads. Okay, we're gonna put one right there and another one right there. We have nothing. Okay, nothing there. charred a little bit starting to burn up there okay i want you to carefully open that cover on the disconnect 
Make sure just, okay, and let's pull that out. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> let's check for shorts to ground. We'll set that to continuity. Hold that for a second. And make sure that we have connection there. Let's just see if we have any shorts to ground. I know the contact is pulled in, but okay. Okay, nothing there. Now, carefully, and it's not gonna come out easily. Let's go to the compressor. For that, I was gonna just check a few simple things. We're gonna take our, our long torque screwdriver, make sure the fan blade freely moves, which it does. Now, we're gonna get inside this compressor cover, take a look in there, see how things look. And as you can see, there is all of our terminals. They are looking good. None of them blown out, which is a good thing. Now, I'm gonna take off one of the lines of the contactor. Okay, so now the contactor, put that right there. All right. Now, let's check for any shorts to ground on each terminal. So here's one piece of metal. Let's try right here. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, okay? No shorts to ground. So, let's put back our wire on the contactor. I want you to, we verified there are no shorts to ground right now, so I want you to plug that back in, and I'm gonna check out the circuit breaker. Basement's always cold and afraid. She scared the shit out of me. <laughs> She's kinda hot looking, what do you say, Peter? <laughs> I opened the door. She was standing there and scared the shit out of me. Let me uh, take a peek over here and see what's going on. Yeah, so that breaker, 20 amp breaker's trip. All right, let's see what happens. Actually, that's not even the one. That's AC living room. They have uh, had a uh, one in the wall. Which I don't think they use anymore. That's a 50, which is tripped. There we have it. That sounds good. She's on. All right, so she's running. Let's check our amperage. This dirty coil has definitely something about it. Okay. So, now that the power is pulled, the only thing we can really do for this wildebeest is to give her a good cleaning. Because uh, maybe we could put a hard start on here, help it deal with the start assist. But uh, yeah, we'll probably try that. I'm gonna bet you that this existing one with that mouse see the mouse wow i totally missed that before look at that little guy right there Ooh. yep the mouse the mouse might have mice might have touched that right there poor mouse all right so i use my milwaukee m18 blower to clean out this electrical compartment peter do you mind grabbing that mouse put him right in the bucket he's right there now Grab my tail. There it is. Little field mouse. Uh, they say it's hard to stop a train unless you're a snake in Ted Cook's neighborhood. Yeah. Greenville. Watch out, South Carolina. Mikey Pipes is coming. <laughs> I don't I'm not I don't know how I'm gonna deal with these snakes, by the way. Snakes are scary. Snakes are scary. I'm not a fan of snakes. We don't have snakes here on Long Island. Yeah. You know? Unless they're in Daniel's Daniel's uh whatchamacallit. I have a friend who has a rattlesnake. <clears throat> yeah? It's crazy. Poor mouse. Seen better days. All right. Uh, before you start taking this apart, let's clean out the inside of this condenser and over there as well and throw the debris into the bucket. All right. Peter's cleaning out the inside of the condenser. You notice that we got a five-gallon bucket and she's full of mulch. <laughs> let's do our best just to clean that out. All right. A little bit more and we should be good here. 
and then we'll focus on the electrical compartment. We want to get all this stuff out before we start getting the water in there. This makes it easy to clean up. Makes sense, right? And using a bucket, it's easier and more professional doing it that way than dumping all the debris onto their mulch or to their grass, you know, their landscaping. Even though, you know, it's not the best of landscaping, as long as you have the same mentality and the same practices, you do the same thing over and over again, it's second nature. You don't throw, you know, the debris outside. That works for me. Do you feel accomplished? Yes. That's, a lot. <laughs> That's almost a, and it's got some weight to it too, huh? Okay. Yeah, sure does. All right, it's the best that we're gonna get this thing. All right, we're now gonna clean this down and recheck everything. It looks pretty clean on this side, but look at all that dirt coming out of it. All right, look at that. Look at all that dirt coming out of this side of the condenser, which looks fairly clean. All right, I'm just, right now I'm just rinsing. Giving it a little pre-rinse. Trying to get all that dirt from inside forced outside. Now let's check this side. And again, also look, that looked clean. Right? Look at all that dirt in there. That really looked clean. But as you can see, that is far from the truth. It was actually dirty. Just gave the appearance of being clean. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you need to check, you need to clean your coils. Right? It's just costing the homeowner more and more money to operate their system if they have a dirty coil. Make sense? Yep. All right. All right, we got this thing as clean as it's gonna get. That side was filthy, but it took about 20 minutes to really give it a good thorough cleaning and rinsing. She ain't draining well, but we're gonna see how, and I took a zip tie to the control wire just to keep it off of the ground. Okay, all right, Peter, the moment of truth. Took out the old start start cap, sorry, the run cap with the relay, and I use this. This is the 521 compressor saver for four to five tons for scroll or reciprocating. Very easy to wire, but secured the little relay box right there. Our cap right there. There's our contactor. Our wire. Looks to be okay. Everything else looks to be okay. All right, let's plug the power in and let's test amperage. So, Peter, pull that right there on amperage. I'm gonna plug this in and see what we got now. You good? Yep. Yeah, hold that. Multitask. Ready? Hold on, let me just pick up the phone. Hi. Maybe send Mike there? Very nice. Do a diagnosis on what we had to do. Okay. Uh, the circuit breaker was tripped. And Downstairs, yes. Please. So I, well, I realized that once we went outside, there was no power present for it to run. So the first things that we do is make sure there's nothing shorting that's going to instantly cause it to trip when we turn it back on. Right. It's a fire hazard and a yeah, health, but... you know, safety issue. Uh, that all checked out fine. Even though the thing is old as can be, uh, and that re com replacement should be on their thoughts, on your daughter's thoughts. Um, I'm just trying to get you, buy you some more time. Okay. So good. we had no shorts. Um, there was a dead mouse in the electrical compartment. Um, and the coil was filthy. The sides that you, know, you could see from the outside looked clean. But once you took the cover off, 
Uh, oh, it, it, it was better. beyond beyond filthy. So uh, we used some chemicals, we cleaned it, um, and that also brought down the amperage of the of the system mm -hmm. um, a little bit. So then we there's another component called a hard start, and um, without complicating it, it just gives you more power. Okay. And that was slightly out of range, so I also replaced that. Okay. And now the amperage is down to a more normal where it should be. So at first, when we before we did anything, we were at 21, 22 amps of power. Now you're a little over 18. So okay. it doesn't seem like it that much of a difference, but it does. <laughs> and just for an example, some of the newer higher end systems, yeah. the average amperage pull is four. Wow. Yeah. So if you know anything about amperage, the more amp, amp something is using, the more electric it's costing you to run. But that just shows you the difference, you know, yeah. and especially since it's a Freon system, it's an R22 system. Uh, it's a night and day difference, but it's up and running. It's cooling. It's condensing. You know, as they say in in, in the trades, you know, it's beer can cold, the pipe. So it's it's cooling to the best that it could do, best of its ability, based on its its age. It's old. Okay. You know, but uh. One other thing, uh, her the filter. Yes. That fell down. Yes, because she uses uh, tape to hold it. She uses tape. <laughs> you have a screw in there. Yes, I'll get a screw. Get a screw. Total difference, night and day in here. It's, and, and it's only been maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, I've heard you filter. So, yeah, so they use the, uh, the bubble gum and duct tape uh, uh, technique here. All right, I think she's got a, a stool. What was here? Wasn't that a little stepladder here? I've been here for, coming here for years. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's I, gone. I, I don't know. I'll go to the garage. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. You know, I'll Peter go up there. And All right, it. yeah. I know. But at least now, just the tape is not holding it. Peter, you're taller. Because <laughs> right. the latch is broke. We'll have to uh, see if she wants to get a new 24 by 24 filter grill here. That way she can easily access the filter on a monthly basis or as needed. All right, so we just finished this service call. It's almost 8.30, 8.29 to be exact. So a little under an hour, but we got a lot done in an hour. Let me show you how we invoiced this out or how I typed up the diagnosis and the repair on our mobile dispatching and payment receipts and invoicing app called ServicePal. So in my diagnosis, we found the circuit breaker for the outdoor condenser tripped. We checked for shorts, none detected at this time. We reset the breaker. Amperage for the compressor while running is 21 amps. Found base of condenser, condenser very dirty, removed the breeze. We chemically cleaned the condensing coil. We found the dead mouse inside the electrical compartment. Replaced the hard start. Cycle system amperage is 18.2. System is running and cooling to the best of its ability at this time. And leaving an exit, an exit strategy, client homeowner should consider and plan for replacement of equipment due to age. Always leave, you know, a, a way out. Always leave a way out. And you see, I told the father at the, at the front steps, Listen, it's old, but still, still kicking, still kicking. You know, until they actually need a new compressor, or if they have a refrigerant leak. You know, since it's Freon, you know they're gonna want to replace the system at that time. But right now, it's just easy peasy. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below. And if you're interested in any stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. We have some money in the postage fund that got donated by a lot of the, the viewers of the, of the channel. So regardless of where you are in the world, I got some stickers for you. Hit me up, Mike, at MikeyPipes.com. All right, guys, until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.